we wait. And we wait. And we wait. And we wait a bit more. And a bit more. Hmm. Into ah, there we go. Good stuff. Right. Let's go then. Uh, the car setup was very, very good there with the turn in. Uh, the, the change of setup was really, really good. Um, in terms of fuel, I think we'll be okay. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. I hope we don't have to do any lifting and coasting, but we'll see. Okay, right. On to the race. I think there's a formation lap. Is there? Nope, no formation lap. So here we go. That caught me by surprise, not gonna lie. Can't start to the inside, unfortunately. We're gonna just try and get a good start to our first Formula One race. We're on the mediums, we're up into P3. Crowded out Hamilton. Perez versus Verstappen then on this first lap. Let's see, oh, Verstappen goes wide and as we hit Perez. Uncharacteristic error from Verstappen there and caught us completely by surprise. Perez just parking it on the apex. I did not expect that. Very, very lucky to not spin the car, to be honest. And look at that grip the Red Bull has through this sector. My God, I know we're on the mediums, but they are absolutely pulling away into the distance. Realistically, our chance is to just hold on here and see what we can get from this race. Maybe try and gap Leclerc, who is on medium tyres as well. The race start has worked out very well for us medium runners. That chaos in turn one and turn three has certainly worked in our favour. Okay, we are a dead slow on traction. <laughs> traction zones are going to be our downfall, sadly. So we're just going to have to watch out for cars behind us looking to make an overtake and a cheeky move. 1.8 seconds, the gap to Verstappen already, and he is hounding Perez. Meanwhile, the Mercedes are hounding Leclerc and myself. His medium tire is not really looking like the best tire to be on at the moment, and I've got to watch my battery as well. We are going to need this battery in defense of this third position. So Leclerc is outside of DRS range. He's probably going to get mugged by one of the Mercedes. And we are a mug on the traction zones. Wonderful. See how we were able to catch the car, though. That I would have never been able to do in F122. I would have had a massive skill issue into that turn, and it would have been game over. Those Red Bulls are just gone, aren't they? They have absolutely vanished into thin air. Look at that Verstappen going on the move around the outside of Perez. Will it stick? I'm not quite sure. No! I was looking at the times. No, 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 no. That's not good. Leclerc gets past us. They've got DRS as well. Gonna have to use DRS. No, 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 no. Not the bottle time. Not time for bottle. There will be a lot of time for that. Just lost it on traction, looking to see whether Perez and Verstappen were swapping places. It certainly looks like they were. And I don't think my plan of keeping the DRS is actually going to work out here. I'm outside of the DRS. I've got no choice but to use the overtake to close up on him. Oh, oh, what happened? Oh, we changed our brake balance. Oh, no. The absolute bottle. I must have knocked the brake balance. Oh, what a disaster. Not going to use any flashbacks. It happens. We're getting absolutely mugged by everybody. What a rookie mistake to make. Ay, 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 ay. And we've overheated the tires, obviously, as well. Got Pastor Maldonado behind us on the soft tires. A lot of sliding. Bottas, no grip whatsoever. But we've got no traction to profit from it. Going to try and go up the inside. Oh, Bottas squeezes us. My God, that was close to contact then. 
Oi, 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 oi. I literally just hit one of the bot buttons just before the braking zone, which put my brake balance all the way to the rear. I hit the magic button like Hamilton uh, in... I think it was Baku 21, wasn't it? Okay, time to test the rocket ship. Gasly defends a little bit. Gasly pushes us right up to the pit wall, but it's not going to be enough. Goodbye, Gasly. Good nice Unless we lock up into here, which we don't. Good stuff. Oh, yo, 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 yo. The tire wear is uh, definitely not optimal now. I've forgotten what, which button it is to check the tire wear, but there's a huge bum fight going on in front of us. We might be able to get ourselves involved in that or profiteer from it unless we go and oversteer like that all the time. I did say my aggressive driving style was going to get the better of me. I'm hope, hoping the traction on the soft tyre will be a lot better, but we'll have to wait and see. As expected, the race pace is a little bit less than the quality pace. And into the pits goes everybody then on the softs. My teammate not going into the pits then, going another lap, trying to get some fresh, clean air. And our teammate is catching us hand over fist now. Probably got DRS by the end of the stint. He'll probably be peeling off into the pits at the end of this lap. I've just got nothing left in these tyres. We're probably going to be undercut by our teammate, to be fair. Use up the battery a little bit. Into the pits we must go. Here we go, into the pits. Okay, here we go. What's it going to be? Is it going to be a good stop? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hopefully. Okay, optimal turn in. I didn't even realize I had to do that. We've got it done. 2.3, lovely stuff. And we have, we've got jumped by our teammate, sadly. Oh, the game chucking us back out. Terribly slow exit there. Then what's happened to the car behind us, Gasly? Losing out there a lot. Looking like just not picking up the pace after getting just stuck behind us, it seems. With six laps to go. Thankfully, the tires are looking okay. The tires are feeling okay as well. That's good. We'll have to wait and see. A lot closer, this lap. Even though it really didn't feel like the tires were that much better, but uh, all of a sudden, the car's handling has come alive. The traction has come alive. All of a sudden, it looks like we might be able to get back in front of our teammate. Certainly want to relieve the pressure off of him a little bit. He's getting hounded by Ocon here. Strange, I seem to remember having this view in qualifying. Okay, we're going for the overtake. Oh, he's pushing us onto the marbles. Oh, he made contact with us as well. Naughty naughty of Ocon moving across in the braking zone. Anyway, hopefully that relieves a little bit of pressure on our teammates as well. Playing the team game here. Paris still feel okay. 
All I need is one point for the constructors, but we could collide. It's happened before. We're going. Do not defend. Do not defend. Aris is faster than you. If we get it wrong in this last lap and need to use the battery, we haven't got much of it left. 3.3 seconds. Surely it's enough, right? Surely it's enough. Pastor Maldonado is absolutely flying this lap, actually. I have to be careful. 1.2 seconds, he's gained a second on us already. Surely not, surely not going to be overtaken by a teammate. These stars are definitely past it. Been a bit of a lonely second stint to this once we got past our teammate. It's all about managing the gap, really. But we've done that perfectly. There was nothing to gain in front of us, really. And we bring it home for a double points finish on our debut. What a race. Really, really enjoyed every single lap of that. Absolutely on the limit stuff. Max Verstappen definitely got the overtake done, was very, very aggressive on uh, lap three, if I remember rightly, and uh, yeah, led from there on out, I guess. Uh, amazing stuff. Charles Leclerc making the alternate strategy work, a bit like us. Great recovery from qualifying. Uh, Carlos Sainz does the opposite and just uh, drops down the order. Looking at the pace difference and the gap, uh, this is honestly where our car's pace is. Um, Good enough for P8, P9, but we need to make some improvements to the drivability of the car to be able to gain the massive eight seconds that Fernando Alonso was able to um, just cruise away uh, compared to us. So some work to do, but we're in the fight. We're in the midfield. This is exactly where we want to be.